Dave's production quick tips. In one minute or less. Today, types of reverb. So let's start with analog. You have three types. Firstly, you have real world. So that's just the sound of your environment. You can capture this by putting a speaker and a microphone in there, playing a sound, and then picking that sound up on the microphone. Next, you have spring reverb, literally using a spring. And it works like this. So you have an exciter, and you have the spring attached to that exciter, and then you have a pickup at the end. The sound travels through the spring, and you get reverb. So after this, you also have plate reverb, and that is exactly the same thing as spring reverb, except for instead of a spring, you have a plate of metal. And next, we've got two types of digital reverb. The first of all is algorithmic. And this is basically using maths to create the reverb with programming instructions. Second of all, we've got convolution reverb. And this is also programming instructions. But it's slightly different. You have a real space, you record a sound, you add some real clever maths, you get an impulse response, and then BAM! You can make any sound sound like it was from that place. So both of these reverbs can emulate analog types.